Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here. We're going into the MTN Mojo store and this one we've we've busted out every single difficulty in the side que event quest. I've already um, shown my legendary quest runs if you're interested in any of those. Here is a little spreadsheet calculator tool that I made. I'll have the link in the description below. Um, as well as the link right there that, that I have there. You can pause and, and look at that, but I'll have a direct link in the description. But yeah, so we're just going to go through. It doesn't matter how you spend your mojo bucks. As long as you accumulated all 3,000 by doing all of the modes um, and you spend them all, it doesn't matter how you spend them. As long as you spend the max amount that you can possibly spend, um, you're fine for the side quest. So this is what I am doing. I'm focusing more, the lower difficulties, I'm focusing more on the, the cab shards. It's because a lot of the materials um, I don't really need. You know, I got a bunch of like the tier three basic and then there is getting some tier four class catalyst crystals and all that. But um, what I really want is potential to get six stars out of the cab crystals, which you know, it's a 3% drop rate in the calves, but they do only cost 2,000 shards. I think we're going to open up 16 of them in total. Um, and yeah, then just get some rank up materials. So for everybody, depending on where you're at in the game and how you do your rank ups and stuff, it's going to be different. So I'm not saying follow me um, exactly because your needs as far as resources may be significantly different. But yeah, you can use the cal that calculator tool, make sure that you s spend 3,000 in each category, kind of divvy it up to however you need it. And um, the one tip that um, I will say is, if you do go after cab shards, make sure that you buy enough in the store to always um, do sets of four to get 2,000. Because if you, if you end up getting like 500, 1,000, 1,500, that's not going to get you a crystal. I know it sounds dumb, but, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I'll just have this few left over, I'll get cab shards. Well, if you don't end up getting to 2,000, then those won't do you any good unless, you know, you're going to end up buying some through the the unit store where they have, like, the daily, daily offers. So, but yeah, so we're going to keep going. We're in the Epic. We're getting a bunch of um, Tier 2 Alpha and um, we're going to get the six star shards and that's the main main objective in these ones is six star shards and uh, rank up resources for you know we don't need a ton of tier 2 alpha and tier 4 basic but it's kind of the best of what leftover I can get after I get the six star shards and the tier five basic. I need lots and lots of tier five basic. Um, I didn't get any of the tier five C from the legendary store. I have so much of that that I was just sitting in crystals right now. So I just went with six star shards, tier five basic, and then some more tier two alpha and tier four basic. I have a lot of that in the overflow right now. I'll, I'll probably end up selling quite a bit of tier one alphas because we got a, quite a bit from that uh, tier four basic combo. And then you can see I've spent all my all of what I can. We're gonna go to the um, solo objective. And for me, I think on these lower ones, I just went for the crystals. You know, I'm just taking my shot at possibly getting a four star. I'll probably get a three star, but you know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal with the sh with the four star shards. Um, pick up the awakening gems. That's a nice 99 gem, and then here I am just gonna go with the five star shards in that one because that can, that just feels like better shot at getting some six star shards. An awakening gem, which is awesome. And then here, I'm also gonna go with the six star shards. I'm not gonna go with the 20% rate to get um, a six star. And we get some nice six stones for a six star, which is great. Can't really use those on anybody that makes any impact, so I'm, I'll be saving those. Yeah, so we collected all our wards in the solo objective. 
And yeah, just go to the store, complete all the quests, spend them all as much as you can, and you should be fine with getting all the rewards. You can see I got 16 total cap crystals. This is all the ones that I bought from the store and then the ones from the calendar. And then I think I'll end up getting like another two this week um, from the calendar. We do end up getting a couple five stars in there, but no six stars in this first batch at 10. And i um, going to ignore these offers and then pop the next six. Hoping for a six star. No five stars. Three four stars. Three three stars. So that was kind of a bust. I'm hoping that those last couple that I get from the calendar this week might yield a six star. But we shall see. Um, and then after, right after I opened that, the game crashed. Beautiful. Um, the game has been crashing quite a bit for me. I mean, I know I'm on the game quite a bit, but yeah, it just seems to crash. So I go in and open up some Grandmaster Crystals just before I go and pop some features. Um, so I have enough shards now between saving and the solo objective and the store to get two more featured crystals. Boom, I'm looking for Kitty. I really wanna get Kitty. I have a rank two to three mutant gem waiting for her. I have a mutant awakening gem and we spin and quick tap the first one and it's hype. Hyperion, that is awesome. I don't have him. Boom, brand new champ. And this dude, I don't have the resources allocated to, to rank him up because I pulled null a last week and I took him to rank two but yeah Hyperion will go up I hope I can awaken him awakening on Hyperion he really only needs 20 sigs and that's about it don't get kitty I do get hit monkey it's another new champ he's a great champ um, I'm excited to play him and he'll probably be my next skill going up um, when I have some resources but we are going to make a rank three so we didn't get Kitty, but we're still going to rank three at Kitty. So if we go look at our skill champs, um, we did just pull that hit monkey, who even unawakened is pretty solid. Um, looking at this Massacre Massacre, looking at this Nick Fury unawakened, those guys are both at rank two. I'm not going to take um, either one of those up. And we're going to scroll down. Boom. Black Panther. Wakanda, and if you see my profile pic, I'm I'm sporting um, I'm supporting the Black Panther Civil Warrior. Yeah, you can see I am not dead. That is right. So you know I have been sporting Black Panther Civil Warrior ever since Chadwick Boseman passed away. It's been it's been over a year. It's been a long time. I actually watched the movie uh, Wakanda with my son the other day we were been going through all the marvel movies it was his first time through it's a lot of fun i really love that movie i really love black panther he is he is a cool champion as far as in the game effectiveness as black panther civil warrior he's not the best but check this out we don't just take him to rank two we take him to rank three and you're like what is going on what is what are you smoking so he is not the best champ by any means but he is a unstoppable armor champion, and with his armor ups, he can be a little bit uh, pesky. And yeah, we rank him up in all his glory. And I'm just hoping that he can um, be effective and maybe get some kills this season. And, you know, he does have a lot of cool synergies. Um, so while he may not be the best, it's okay, I'm doing it for our team. So I rank him up. Obviously, he's not going to rank four. But yeah, Wakanda forever. Um, yeah. So we'll see We'll see how he does. We're going to put him on defense. I'm here. I'm looking at my stash. Take a little quick picture to share with my VG. Dang, he's still waiting. Look at that. I am just over 2,000 tier 3 alpha away from getting to rank four. And then here is my defense all unstoppable armor champs right now except i did make a mistake that kingpin i need to swap out but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed 
Um, hopefully you guys make use of that little tool that I made, the little Excel calculator. And um, here's the link again, I'll post it in the description. And hope you guys have a good one. Hope you guys smash out that quest. It's not too difficult. It's got some interesting nose and stuff on it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.